Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. This is Austin Code Cipher back again with another video on web development. So in this simple short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can move elements on your web page and we are going to be using jQuery. So if you are to use jQuery, just know we are going to be using append to method or function to move different elements on your web page. Now since I'll start by explaining to you the files we have included in our project you having bootstrap 3 as you can see on the left hand side i'm having a folder called bootstrap 3 and inside that folder i'm having css and inside css i'm having the real bootstrap file and this is how i have included it in our project i went ahead and also included the js the javascript and this is it plus also adding my custom styling sheet where i'm going to be putting some extra codes to arrange my design on a web page and this is the one I created style.css now I'll start by creating a div and I'm going to give this div a class of container again inside the same div I'm going to create another div and I'm going to give this one a class of row so we are, I want to create some columns on the web page Again inside this term div I'm going to create another div and I'm going to give this one a class of call dash large and I want it to take three columns. Now the, what else I'm going to do is to create some div again inside this same div. I'm going to give this one a class of well save that. As you can see we're having some well here now let me reduce so that you guys can be seeing both sides oh it's somehow stretching I don't know why it should be at a hundred So I'm sorry for wasting your time there. So I want to create another div or another row, another column. I'm going to copy just this. Come down and put this as wall 2. As you can see, we're having two walls here. Now I'm going to include buttons inside those walls. buttons I'm going to call this button 1 save that As you can see we are having some default button here I'm going to create another one and I say button 2 so in the second column I'm going to add another button I'm going to call this button 3 and button 4. Now uh, let's size them. I'm going to give them a class of btn, btn dash primary. And I'm going to give this one a class of btn, btn dash danger. I'm going to give this one a class of btn, btn dash success I'm going to give this one a class of btn btn dash info as you can see now we are having our four buttons here one two three four so we are going to be moving some button from this side to this side using jquery how simple it will be now I'm going to give this one an id of right so this one is the one on the right right well I'm going to give this one an ID of left well I'm going to give each button a class of an ID of I'm going to call this one target one 
just going to copy this this one I'm going to give it an ID of target 2 this one target 3 this one target 4 so that's all what we need now I told you I included my extra my extra styling sheet here I want to design them properly so I'm going to say right well and the left well so I'm selecting them by IDs I want to give them some margin Wow, I need only the margin 5 pixels and this is what we are having now let's start with our jQuery now to include the jQuery in your project I already have mine here as you can see jQuery that version I'm going to include it here below down the body so I'm just going to add that script tag add the source attribute where the file is located I'm just going to say jQuery since we are in the same directory that's 3.2 one dot mini dot js so that's our folder now we'll create our custom styling for the javascript we are going to be programming everything from now let's start by now let's say we want to move this button one to the right hand well or right well <laughs> I guess I'll call it like that the right well now for every jQuery you have to first define this document so Jav JavaScript should not set off unless the document is ready now we pass in anonymous function so here you are telling the browser you should not run any code from javascript unless the document has fully loaded on the web page now what i will do now we said we want to move we want to move this button one from the left well to the right well now here we target the we target button one and we say remember we gave them ids and button one has an id of target one what we shall do we shall say Open those double quotes, which is hash target target one dot append to so we are targeting tag button one which has which is having the target one ID and we want it to append to to the right well and this right well has an ID of right well it's a right and that's it that's how we can move it now check out this oh what's wrong with this document function document oh guys the reason why it didn't move I have are you seeing this function first later it should be in lowercase so i'd put it in uppercase sorry for that now when you do it like that as you can see even the code had changed its colors but when you put it in lowercase it goes back to the normal displaying color it should be in so i was wondering why these double quotes we are displaying white it's because we had put this f in uppercase now check out when i try to append are you seeing button one will move to the next well or to the right well using this target one append to the right well so we have moved it from left well to the right well using this append function so how cool it is when you're moving your different elements on your web page using jquery now assume we never we want, never wanted it to leave this 
left well to the right well instead of moving it the instead of moving the whole element now cloning it we can also clone it by using this set target one set target one dot clone dot append to So this is when you want to clone it. I'm first going to let me first remove that and see. So as you can see, they are the same. But what if you want to clone it to be this side on the left hand well and also to the right hand well? Now we do target one clone dot append right well semicolon and see. As you can see, we have cloned it from this side to this side, so it's remaining in the real directory, but again making another copy of it in the right hand well. So that's how you can append and clone different elements on your web page. So making duplicates out of them. If this tutorial was useful to you guys, I recommend you to subscribe and stay updated on different tutorials we shall be doing so with those few remarks allow me to stop here please make sure you subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next tutorials as you can see we made a pen to a pen and if you have to realize this cloning an element on a web page it takes two functions the one for clone and a pen to so guys thanks for watching I'll see you in the next tutorial.